How's it going everyone? This is my hello and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. In the last video, we saved the queen by killing the monster Yakra that abducted her. And apparently this monster was posing as a chancellor in the castle. But we saved the real chancellor too. Also, I was very stupid in the boss battle last video. But I hope I'm not stupid in future battles. Anyway, go up to the queen and let's get out of here. Let's get out of this hellhole, shall we? We're back! The queen's back, for real now. Not moral, acting as the queen. Yeah, definitely, that was just a low move of Yakra. Oh, cool! Does that mean our actions created a justice system in this kingdom? Oh, that's awesome! Hey Frog, what's up? What do you mean? We saved her, thanks to you. There's no disgrace in that. Your actions saved us all. Frog, come back. Frog. Hmm. He took it he took his duty very seriously. I don't know. What do you have to say about this, Queen? Oh, just saving us. I hope she's alright. Um Princess Nadia. Right, that's your real name. Yeah, she may still be up in the chambers upstairs, but... Um, a friend of ours. Supposedly one of your descendants, but I don't want to say that for now. Oh, it's the same dialogue, but... Frog? Where are you going? No, it wasn't. You couldn't help it, right? Don't go away forever. Surely we must meet again, right? Well, thank you, thank you, Frog. Uh, I mean, I guess what I said about before, you know, surely we meet again. There's really no reason for us to go back to this time period after we save Moral, right? But still, we meet a friend at this time period. Don't you agree, Luca? Yeah. See, we made a friend. And Frog made two friends today. But let's go check up on Moral to see if she exists now. Now that this whole debacle has been cleared up, now that the queen exists so that she can have babies, who can have babies, who can have babies. You're still gossiping? Jeez. Moral. Oh, thank god you're alive. Oh, thank god you're back. Are you okay? Tell me that you're okay. Oh, right, and we know that you're the princess. Sup? This is a bit awkward, but you're okay now, right? Oh, so you actually remember your experience. Let's not dwell on that, Moral. Just dwell on the fact that you're alive, okay? Just focus on that, and everything will be fine and bright again. Uh, yeah, so I guess we have to address this now. You know, now we know that you're the princess. Oh, by the way, this is my friend Luca. Um, Luca, this is my friend Moral. She, I guess, you know that she's a princess. Well, yeah. Uh, no, not at all. He just wanted to get out of the castle and just have fun at the fair. And you know how it is being a celebrity. He just wanted non. He just wanted to be anonymous. Okay, so your father's the king of our kingdom. He's the thirty-third king. Wow. Not a lot of fun. So what if I knew your identity? Then what? Wrong? You're so wrong. Like, it doesn't matter if you're the princess or the queen of England. I would have shown you around the fair and we would have gone on our date as per usual. Yes, everyone is safe, judging by the fact that you're here. So let's go back home, Moral. I want to go back home. I mean, this time period has been fun. It's been fun time traveling with you all, but I just want to go back home. It's just a relief to just go back into our time period where everything is brighter, where there's no war, where I can sleep in my own bedroom. So yes, hey Moral, uh, this is your ancestor. I wonder why, Queen Leanne. <laughs> and he just walked through her. <laughs> that is very true. We saw what happened the last time um, let's not talk more about this. This is getting a bit awkward. What do you have to say, King? Well, yeah, she did act like a brat instead of Queen Leanne, but sure, um, I hope we meet again, I suppose. Um, yeah, um, if we meet again, 
Why not? So everyone's gonna comment on that. Is anyone else gonna say anything different? We're just gonna talk about how the Queen's back and everything is nice again. They're talking about Yakura being dead and we're, you know, guests of honor now, so... That's something that's pretty cool. Um, I kinda wonder how the Night Captain is doing, considering how he's still under pressure, there's still a war going on, and... Oh, who are you? Wait, is that? Oh, I thought that was a person, sorry. <laughs> yeah. He saved us all. Oh. That is true. Those monsters in the cathedral, they must have been soldiers of Magus, huh? Man, they tricked us. And now we must have a revenge on them. So Yakura's working for Magus, was he? Who is this Magus? We saw a statue, but we don't know much else about him, except for the fact that he's evil, he's fighting this castle, and he's giving a lot of people a lot of stress. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now, so I wish you all good luck. I hope you win the war, because I assume you win the war, judging by how we're at peace in 400 years, so... You already won, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, let's go back home, shall we? By the way, um, if Marl was in your party when Frog leaves, there's gonna be this little exchange, which... I probably should have shown in my original recording, so... Yeah... Free shelter! Okay, so... I realized that I forgot to heal myself back at Guardia Castle, so I'm going back. And I ran into some enemies, and Marl learned her first tech, Aura, which is like Frog's Slurp ability, except it's healing us a lot more for less. So, she... Marl is the White Mage, and she's damn good at her job. We also learned a dual tech, because Aura can be combined with Chrono Cyclone, and that can do Aura Whirl, which is a heal all, so that's pretty awesome. A little expensive, but hey, heal alls are great. Now I'm gonna go back to the bed and, and guard a castle and heal myself before I kill myself. Duh, everyone has a bed. Ooh, Luca has purple hair. Interesting. So I gave Marl some new stuff at the store, since why not? She's been gone for a while and she could use some new armor. I also sold everything else that I don't need, so... Money-wise, I'm okay. Like, you're never going to be too strapped for money in this game. Like, money's never going to be a problem in this game, if I recall correctly. And if it is, then it's for some... Then that means you won't need money anymore. You don't need money. You just gotta be happy. Now, you notice how these imps are green. So, the second time you go through Choose Canyon, on your way back home, um, the enemies will be a little bit tougher, but... It's still all the same. Well, I suppose we never saw this brown dude before. Well, this is a bit awkward. You're... Not dead. As you can see, they're a little tougher and they... Want to do some nice business with Chrono there. That sounded weird. So, Marl can attack with your bow. I meant to attack the other dude, but you know what? Let's just kill you. Man, he's aggressive. He's killing everyone right now. Well, attacking... Dude, how many turns do you have? I suppose that one weird attack was your counterattack, because you had like three attacks in the span of one turn. How happy are you about that, huh? Because I'm not. Yeah, so, like I said before, there... Ooh, Hypnowave. How many... What have you been learning, you Luca? Like, you've learned your second... attack already. What? So yeah, you can put enemies to sleep, how about that? Because I thought Chrono would be learning... Um, Slash before you would learn Hypnowave. I never use Hypnowave, by the way, so... Yeah, some texts are those texts that I never use, so sorry if you're a big fan of texts and... Oh, I'm stupid. Well, here's that portal thing that we came through. That's what we came through, right? That wasn't there before, but I assume that's where I... I mean, this is where I was dumped out of, right? You see, Princess Leia? Please, it makes things much more easier if we call everyone by their first names, even though that's not your first name, Marl. It's Nadia. What if I just call you Nadia? Now I'm just gonna call you Moral. So how are we gonna get back home and... Oh! 
Wow, you can just open portals like that and go through time. Oh, that's how you got here in the first place, right? I mean, you figured out how to time travel without being forced to. <laughs> you're, the, you're a genius, Luca. Don't be so modest. Come on. You're amazing, Luca. And I mean it. Luca is amazing. Luca's the best person ever. Don't let anyone shit on her. Yeah, so we're gonna, gonna call these portals gates. Time gates. Through this gate, we will travel through time. This gate will take us between this time period and our time period. It's in the same location, but the time is different. So... Yeah, so Luca created something based on the telepod device. The gate key, which allows us to control gates and travel through time. So yeah, we have access to time travel anytime you want. Assuming we can find a portal. I mean, chances are this is the only portal, so... It's interesting where this gate came from, and, or why we can travel through time all of a sudden. But, I mean, it may have some sort of connection with Luca's, I mean, Marl's pendant as well, but... As long as Luca controlled this phenomenon, we can just go back home. See ya! See ya, 680. You were nice, but... You were depressing and sad. Ah, that time travel sequence. The ah, <laughs> well, it's nice to be back in this sunny day, and we still have a fair to enjoy. Um, sure, I can go home to your parents' place and have dinner, but how about we continue our date at the fair? Don't worry about it, Luca. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. I'm also glad you enjoyed death, but like I said, let's not talk about that. Like I said, new friends. Chrono has two friends now. Alright, see ya, Luca. Well, let's explore more of this fair, shall, shall we? I'm not gonna es escort you home right now, Marl. Let's do some- Hi, who are you? Oh, well, okay. Well, we don't care about the merchants. Who are you? The Soda Guzzling Contest. Oh boy, you know what this means. Button mashing. You have to button mash to drink eight soda cans. Ready? Because I'm because I'm not. Let's do this. Ah! I can never do this, and I'm not gonna try again. Seven's my best. Um. So if you read a walkthrough on Game Facts, they'll say that this is the easiest mini game if you have a turbo controller. Who has a turbo controller nowadays? Well, I mean, probably manufactured by outside companies, but screw you. How's your cat? I'm not talking to you. Uh. So we have an interesting spot here. Um, let's talk to one of these girls here. A prehistoric dance. You can tell by how these guys are dressed as cavemen, and they're drumming with logs and bones. Jurassic rhythm. Yeah, I guess that's a way to learn about dashing, but you can use the X, Y, L, and R buttons to dance. Alright, let's try it out. Let's dance. Let's dance. Put on your red shirt and dance. <laughs> Climbing the ladder. Slapping your butts. Whoa! <laughs> they have the best expressions in this game ever, I swear. They can laugh. They can whoa! <laughs> These characters are so dynamic, they're so fun. This game is so much fun, you have to love it. Hello cat, goodbye cat. Now what else is there to do? You can still fight Gato, but there's no need to. Um, there's this race that goes on. Um, this old man will say, we'll give a prediction. And sometimes his predictions will actually tell you who wins. Although in this case, um, the alien one. And that's, I think, the steel runner that you- No, that's like a steel runner. Alright, so... Although, the thing is, this old man is talking about the next race. See, whenever he predicts- whenever he says somebody's name, he's always referring to who he thinks will win the next race. Not the current race, but the next race. So let's see if we can win this, um, bet. Because you're pretty much betting. It's like betting on horseback riding. Okay, whoever is in steel is losing, but... Oh wait, 
the blue guy's a steel runner and he's winning. Oh my god, he won! Oh my god, he won! Yay! See what cheating this competition can do for you? Oh, oh, we had a cat still in the race, I forgot. I was like, we won! Who are we, who are we gonna wait for? Oh, it's that guy. So, now the race is over, so... Oh, that was Jay Jogger? Oh. I was so happy there for a sec. Old man, you tricked me. I'm sad. Uh. So, there's a bell here that... It's like your standard ring the bell carnival game. Except, you do it this way. You Once you press A in front of it, you'll move automatically. So try to press A when you're the farthest away from the bell. Ooh, I got it! Nice! It's just for one silver point. For me, it's the easiest game, but... I don't know, the games here are hit or miss. Tent of Horrors? Ooh, I have 16 points to spend here. Hello, how's it going? Welcome to Norstein Peckless Lab. The spine tingling show is about to start. This could be fun, I can't wait, I like shows. How many silver points would you like to pay? Well, we only, we only have 16, so let's try it out, shall we? Hi. Hi, guys. I'm Vix. I'm Wedge. Oh, Biggs and Wedge. Star Wars references who always pop up in Squaresoft games. And whoever the hell you are. So this is going to be one of those games where uh, I've already lost track of Piet, but but I was keeping track of Vix, and this is Vix. So this is one of those games where you want to keep track of whoever. Um, I was keeping track of Vix. People say keep track of one person or two people. Uh, you know, it's just like it's a standard st strategy for these type of shuffle games. Keep track of not all three at once, but a few at a time. Hello, kitty catty. Yeah, there's more games you can play at Norstein Beckler's tent, but I'd rather not bother. But here's a new Poyozo doll toy. Oh, it's playing that one peaceful song from before. It's so nice. Let's dance, Marl. Blah, blah. Blum, blum. Well, that was a nice peaceful dance. Do some peaceful song now, wasn't it? So, you can go back to Luca's house and see what's up with Luca and Devon now that they're not showing and telling their invention anymore. Two-legged walking humanoid robots are virtually impossible to create. Then you should create a two-legged walking humanoid, well, it was a cat-like robot. But don't give up, Luca. Keep on making. If you're a creator, never stop creating. That's some um, advice for every one of you. Don't stop believing. Just do whatever you must, depending on your interest. Oh, don't say that about your daughter and husband's interests. Oh, you're so thankful about Tavon's work, though. It brings you, you know, nice rewards and nice cash. You're still sitting here, though, huh? You haven't moved since I last talked to you. Hope you're doing okay, Mrs. Luca's mom. Hmm. I wonder if there's a story behind that, because she seems a bit despondent a little bit. Yes, I am Luca's friend. Um, <laughs> I suppose it's a running thing in this place where parents don't know their friends, I mean, children's friends. Sometimes they're children's names, as I once said, by mistake. <laughs> in episode one. So let's go over here, um, to the ticket office. Why? Just for fun. You see, we're just having a little date day today. A mysterious whirlpool in the ocean. Well, that sounds a bit mysterious if you get out of my way. Who are you? Elaine. Elaine! Um, what's a good Jerry Seinfeld in present? You know what, I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not even gonna, gonna try. Yeah. I'm George. <laughs> hmm, who's this Fritz? Well, there's a reason why I wanted to visit the shop earlier. Um, you can actually go here and talk to this guy. Hmm. 
so he also knows who this Elaine and Fritz are. I suppose they... I suppose you know them? Oh, you can actually get a bow for Marl. That's awesome. Ooh, and a maiden suit. Why not? Um, sure I'll give them to Marl. She needs new stuff. And we can sell our old stuff. Yeah, like I said, I have no remorse in selling old stuff. If it improves everything, but yeah. So I guess Elaine's over here, and... I guess the person who knows Elaine and Fritz runs the shop. So I wonder who this Fritz is. Well... That aside, let's go on a boat ride to Pierre. I mean, Porre, 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 Porre. However you say it, Porre. And let's take a look at the scenery here. There's this island to the right, to the east. No, oh, I wonder if that's where Melchior came from. He said he did say he came from a continent to the east. No, oh, I guess it's easy to go there then. But this boat only goes between Guardia and Porre. Porre. That's right. We live in Guardia. I mean. We live in the Kingdom of Guardia, don't we? It makes sense, doesn't it? Um, what do you have to say, people? Yeah! <laughs> Raise the roof! <laughs> See? Raise the roof! <laughs> I don't know, I just find it so weird because I never saw this sprite before. I never paid attention to it. So, this is the mayor of Poor. Hmm. The children are slipping away from us. It's so sad. Oh, don't say that. I mean, it's only a part of growing up, isn't it? When the kids grow up, they become different from their parents, but they move on. Oh. I mean, I assume you're just a teenager, so you're just being a rebel, as per usual, but don't say that about your parents. Your parents love you, and you can never hate your parents. Oh. Maybe there's more to the story than I thought. Who are you? What's your deal, Mr. Mayor? Okay, so you're rich. Like, Donald Trump rich. Are you Donald Trump arrogant? Are you serious? Look at this guy. You can't be serious right now. Hey, at least he gave some money to people, right? That was the worst 10 gil I've ever earned in my life. I'm never doing that again for such pigs. God, what a pig. Oh, there's two of these hidden mysterious chests here, but I guess this is a daughter. Um... You'll learn more about life later in your life, and that's also when people are going to be more truthful, but your dad's an asshole. I move out as soon as you can, whenever it's legal, whenever it's a good idea, but uh, that's a bad idea. Never run away from home. Man, this inn sucks. It's pretty small. I'm just drawing moral around poor, poor, poor. It's an interesting town because it's also a town in the same, you know, same time period. It's like a neighboring town. Yet it feels so... different. Snail stop. What's up with this place? Hmm. Oh. Well, that's good to know. I thought that monsters and humans would be so separate, judging by what I saw in 600 AD. Best jerky, best joiky. Oh my god, that's expensive. If you're jerky, please. <laughs> you're not gonna do any business here. I'm never gonna buy jerky from you. So, let's see here. 400 years ago, a woman named Fiona died trying to save the great forest that once flourished to the north. How sad. I mean, surely the forest is there, right? Let's take a look. Wow, it's just barren wasteland. Fiona died for nothing. <sighs> That's depressing. We keep on destroying the environment. I bet it was our fault that the forest is gone. <laughs> what do you mean? The festival's awesome. You're the fool. Hello. You know what? I'm not up for being sad. Let's play something upbeat. Oh, right. This is something cool. I can dance to this. But that was fun. <laughs> I swear that dancing is much better than the dancing back at the fair, don't you agree, Marl? Screw those prehistoric people and their prehistoric dance. Anyway, screw this town. Pora is depressing. 
we can just cross this bridge since it's free and there's it's a good option so you know what I kind of feel like going back home and resting and then I'll meet you back here at the forest yo mom what's up I just had sex um okay mom <laughs> bye mom uh, see you for dinner I suppose or whatever you're doing why aren't you at the fair mom so let's go to the forest it's more or less the same, except there's mushrooms and there's no friendly creatures that give you shelters. So don't even bother to just avoid everything. Oh no, you're gonna attract monsters, aren't you? Oh hello spiders. Hello avian chaos. Or chaos, as you'd say in Sonic world. My... Hmm, speaking of Sonic. My other Let's Play must have started by now. The Sonic the Hedgehog Let's Play. Yeah, so I've never played Sonic the Hedgehog before. So it's interesting. Although as of this day, I'm actually, I haven't recorded Sonic the Hedgehog yet, but I know that I want to do Sonic the Hedgehog, so we can avoid those mushrooms and not fight them. But yes, here we are in front of the castle, where we're going to bring Moral back home. Well, it's been a fun date, Moral, but the date's got to end when the date's got to end. But I suppose we're going to have dinner together, right? So dinner with your parents, that should be interesting. <laughs> Want to see what craziness happens when we have dinner with Marl's parents? Find out next time at Chrono Trigger. See ya.